while the train is moving, especially you little girls in the very, very back. Stay seated. Keep your whole body inside, of course, meaning your arms, your legs, your heads, and naturally your tails. Absolutely perfect day. It's very quiet. First day of school here in Santa Barbara area, so uh, nobody's here, well, except for you guys. But it's very quiet, very nice. No crowd. It's a little pleasant. All right. You guys ready to go? Let's do it.
only thing she needs is a bigger door for the elephant. As we go by here, you can actually hear them more than see them. But this is our little yeah, block of uh, flamingos, our little ambassador flock. We have six of these birds who are hand raised, and they uh, they'll follow their keepers around the zoo. We had a big uh, event here Saturday night. We had four of them out. It's actually very neat to see them. The rest of this is pretty much small animal holding birds, cockatoos, macaws, that kind of thing. These lions here. This is part of the zoo's history. They were here in the estate before the zoo opened, called the Child's Estate, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. Now, you guys are writing on Emmett. Uh, he's a baby of our train program. He's only about a year and a half old. We also have the blue train in there, that's Kate. Now, the trains are actually all sponsored by the Duncan family here in town all the Rusty's Pizza Parlors. And they're not only our sponsors, they're also huge, huge train fans. In fact, the boy Emmett, the real Emmett, was just on this a couple of rides ago, and he and his little sister Kate were out here. They're huge fans, just great family, and, and really been great to us. Now, over here, this is one of my favorite spots to do, and I really think it's our best exhibit. This is our white-handed gibbons on Gibbon Island. Jasmine and Gulliver in there. Here they are on the, the right third of the island. Jasmine's on the left, the white one, and her buddy uh, Gulliver. Gulliver just turned 37 a couple of weeks ago, so he's getting up there in age for a, for a given. Now in the wild, these guys live in really dense jungle in uh, Southeast Asia. They spend probably 95% of their time in the trees, but here they don't really need to do that because there's nothing trying to eat them, right? So they just kind of hang out. Plus, they're getting to be seen here. Now, they're eight, not monkeys. So, uh, monkeys don't, monkeys have tails, not apes. We used to say that they couldn't swim, but it turns out totally not true. They found, they've got video now of Gibbons and not Gibbons of chimps and orangutans doing the breaststroke. Right over here, this is the Andre Clark Bird Refuge. Really a great space with just dozens of birds over in the city of Santa Barbara. In fact, uh, the Audubon Society comes in once a year, does a big count. And they always come up, we always find more than 100 species in here. Some live here full time, some live here for a little vacation. Alright, now the birds that we love more than anything are our five California condors, and they're coming right up here. These are the biggest land based birds in, them. in North America with wingspans about 9 to 10 feet. Here's the old trestle. These guys can fly as high as 15,000 feet and go a couple of hundred miles a day just looking for food. Great flyers. Of course, we have the tent of wings that uh, kind of helps too. There they are, just beautiful. Just beautiful. This is another bird that, or another animal that you really need to see up close to kind of appreciate them. Now these guys were almost extinct by the mid-80s. There were only about 22 left in the wild period. Uh, so they made a decision, they brought them all into captivity, started a breeding program, and today there's over 400, and about 200 of those are actually back in the wild. So they've done pretty well. In fact, if you're on Facebook, you can uh, go check out the Condor Cave. They have a uh, some cameras and nests down in Ventura County, and you, they regularly post video and such, and kind of get a condor's eye view of uh, the mud. All right, up here, this is the forest edge. Mundo, Kibu, and Goma homeland gorillas. Either this is 400 pounds, a handsome of these, uh, a couple of half-brothers from the Bronx Zoo have been here quite a while. They're a little bachelor group, much like they have in the wild. Um, in the wild, though, in Africa, these guys are in deep trouble. They're forced into disappearing, and part of the reason is mining for stuff that they can use in their cell phones. That's why we have a, that big green recycle bin out in front of the zoo off to the right as you come in. If you got old phones, two or three, like most of us, drop by. Any little bit you can do is really for these guys that and will help. It's very much worth it. Monty Mosaic Snake. I like 
is here. This is on the left. You get the Pacific Ocean beach volleyball, and on the right, the African savanna and five Masai giraffes. Here they are. Come up here so you guys in the back can see and then we'll stop for just a little bit bit and talk about what we have here. First off, the one walking right to left there, or left to right, that is Audrey. That is Dane's mom. She's about 14 feet tall. And Dane, I believe, is the guy sitting down there. He's looking down, got his mouth on the ground. When he was born, and can everybody see them now? You guys okay back there? Now, when Dane was born April 18th, he was six foot three and weighed 156 pounds. Today he's just a little over nine feet and about 500 pounds. Sunshine, she's the one standing next to him. She was born 10 days later, six feet, 133. Today she's about eight feet and about 400 pounds. So they're doing just fantastic. Her mom is Betty Lou. She's on the left side of the feeding platform. In the middle there, that's Michael. And he is the father of both. He came to us from Canada. Mostly to see if he could help us with the breeding program. And uh, he is a father of both Dane and Sunshine. He showed up and a few weeks later, both Audrey and Betty Lou were pregnant. So Michael is Mr. Smooth. And, uh, and he's... Uh, 16 feet and about 2,500 pounds of animal magnetism. He's uh, he's quite something. So they're all doing just just fantastic. It's it's worth the, if you haven't fed them. It's actually worth it. I know it's not cheap, but there's something about being up there and having them take uh, take lettuce out of your hand with a 14 inch purple tongue. So. All right, now up here. This is our. Young lioness, this is Dima and Katie. I see it. One's on the rock and one's in the far back. They're pretty young. They're only about two and a half years old. Came to us from the National Zoo. Um, we also have Chadwick and Gingerbread. What we really like is to see Chadwick and the two young ones get together and make the lion cub. But if you ever had a cat try to bring a new one into the into the house. Biggest difference is these guys weigh 300 pounds, so you have to be patient. You gotta have a program. We're doing that. Nina and Chad, we seem to get along, but that's been about it so far. We're on, so we're just keeping our fingers crossed. Okay, now I mentioned the child estate. This is all about 30 acres. It was owned by Julian Child. After she passed away, it all came to us, and then we opened this in 63. Back then, it was pretty much just a small little petting zoo, and a few farm animals. We also had Mary Lou the Gator, but she was not part of the petting program. Um, as I said, we have over 500 animals today, and about 142 species, so we've really, really got bigger, I think, better. And uh, we really kind of evolved, and I think it's important. All right, coming up here, these three of my favorites, these are the capybaras. The biggest roaches on the planet, sometimes called South American hippos, because like hippos, they spend a lot of time in the water, and their eyes, ears, and nose sit almost on top of their head, and it lets them sit in the water and keep an eye out when the things don't want to eat them, like anaconda. They see something they don't like, they can dive into the water and hold their breath for about five minutes. I think they're all in the water right now, and if you look over as we come by, look to the right, you'll see. Kind of get a bit of sense at it. Well, we have two brothers and a sister. Really, it's just an easy going guy. Also, fantastic gardeners. We have never had to mow that long. If you want Gabby Barnes to come in to take care of your own lawn, all you need is a pool for the about the only place they want to go.
right, guys, let's stay seated until we come to a full stop. Thanks for riding with us today. If you have any questions about the animals, the train, or the zoo, let me know. And as always, we hope that you have a